happy hey my daughters and i and my wife are in half moon bay right now enjoying a little peace and quiet i just uh, trucked my way to the outhouse <laughs> to go to the bathroom and some little kid actually like trucked it in front of me to beat me to it he had to go so bad so i was like props little dude but hey i thought i'd take a couple minutes and do my live feed if you're watching this on youtube I always do live feeds on my Facebook page here, Mondays and Fridays, and then on my Brave Maker page on Wednesday. I was thinking about how Jesus told us to love our enemies, and I was talking about that with my kids, and my daughter said, Dad, do you have any enemies? And I said, you know, that's a great question, honey. I'm, I, I probably do have enemies. I probably have people who don't like me and have made it clear, and I've had people who have just, you know, or pushed me aside potentially with some of the conversations I want to talk about or uh, have written me nasty notes especially in my in my other space in time and work and life and that type of thing uh, sometimes they're super overtly aggressive sometimes they're passively aggressive and just open up this whole conversation but it made me think about how many of us just feel we want to give up right now uh, with what's going on in culture or even just on Facebook if you're watching this you're on Facebook and you know how difficult it can be to dialogue and engage on Facebook, let alone in real life on challenging and hard topics. So I just wanna say, I know what it feels like if you're just kinda of over all these issues, whether it be um, about politics or just anything that's negative you know, in our culture or in media. I just wanna encourage you, do what you can to engage because it's important to engage. I'm, we're seeing engagement change, really. We're seeing when we do engage, when we do uh, have good conversations civilly, when we care about the poor and those who are marginalized, and whatever side you're on, maybe you're passionate about uh, politics on the left or to the right, whatever it is, do it civilly, and let's learn how to be good listeners and mute the madness when you have to. That's why I'm at the beach right now. Like just get away and I had to walk however far I had to walk to get signal. I don't even know if I see some of you guys on here so that's cool. That must mean that uh, I do have a signal, I can't tell. Uh, but mute the madness, get away. There's some great f features on Facebook. You can actually unfollow people. You can actually delete people if you're getting too worked up uh, or there's too much negative exchange or people are um, harping on you or shaming you, then just get off. But I also say, try and listen try and understand where people are coming from even the posts that seem like haters or the posts that seem anti whatever you're you're for try and do do a minute of reading through and before you react and respond and post you know negative mean emojis uh, try and come from a place of the positive heart eye emoji uh, or blow some kisses to these uh, conversations notice and I seriously mean this I think what I'm trying to do is trying to learn how to engage, even though I have very, very different opinions from some of my great loved ones, friends, community. I want to come from a place of let's learn. And uh, you can also shut it off and say, you know, I'm not open to seeing that point of view, but I do want to hear and understand. And my wife and I continually go back to this little technique we got in counseling. Actually, it started when we were in our, our premarital counseling and we just went back earlier this year for some more counseling to work through our transition of my job and life and that type of thing. And our counselor just taught us this thing called the speaker listener technique. And you can use it here on social media. It's before you respond and before you react, listen to what someone else is saying and try to repeat it back. So what I hear you saying without it, without a negative tone of voice or a sassy, you know, body language. Like, so what I hear you're saying is you don't care about the, you know, uh, we can go, okay, so what I hear you saying is your perspective is this, and this is how you see it. Okay, let me just make sure I understand how you see it and where you're coming from. Okay, let me think about that. Did I hear you correctly? Am I doing a good job listening? You can do this in real life and you can do it uh, on social media and then go, okay, well, this is how I see it. Um, I understand where you're coming from and I just want to disagree. Or how about, can you look at it from my perspective and then let the other person hear what you're saying and see if they can repeat it back to you. It's called the speaker listener technique. You should give each person 30 to 60 seconds to do it. Try it. Something that's really helped us in our marriage and it's something I'm trying to do well on social media. But again, before you delete or unfollow someone, see if there's something you can learn. But if it's too much, if you're anxiety, hey, life is too precious. Life is too good to spend time letting other people's powers and opinions and hate control you. 
delete, unfollow, or just get off the madness, get away, and enjoy some life. That's my two cents for today. All right, so hey, Friday TGIF. Uh, this weekend I'm shooting a short film. If anybody wants to participate, let me know. And on July 2nd, uh, sorry, July 3rd and 4th, I'm doing the Chalk Festival downtown Redwood City. If that perks your interest, I'm looking for some left-brained engineer type people to help me measure mural space in Redwood City. All right, take care you guys. God loves you. Have a fantastic weekend and be a brave maker. See ya.